Ang susunod na programa ay Rated G. Ito ay pwede sa lahat ng manonood. Good evening everyone! Ladies and gentlemen, from home or wherever you are, Welcome to the show where we show you the world of marketing. A glimpse of knowledge live from CAB Building, fresh from yours truly, Team B! I am Dana Alawi. And I am Denver Dantas. And we are your hosts. And you are watching The, the Preview. Preview. This segment is gonna be very interesting, so if I were you, I'm gonna find a comfortable spot. Yes, and grab some popcorn because we are about to pop up our first topic of the day. We're going to talk about what is marketing and how marketing process works. And also, what is the marketplace and customer needs? All of these questions should be considered. Here with us today are an amazing set of people that's gonna be sharing their knowledge about tonight's topic. So to start with, please welcome Miss Mika Salamanca, Miss Ira Segera, Miss Kajal Lal, and Miss Mia Guanyo. Greetings everyone. Good evening to our prominent hosts, Dana and Denver, to the massive supporters of this talk show preview, and of course to the best people in the world, the patrons of Kakaloka. So I am here, the CEO of Kakaloka Company, and I would like to tell you one of our secrets, why we've always been part of the spotlight in this industry. Marketing. It is the key factor to our success, but what does it actually mean? Marketing is engaging customers and managing profitable customer relationships. Its goal is to attract new customers by promising superior value and of course to keep and grow the current customers by delivering value and satisfaction. In fact, according to Peter Drucker, the aim of marketing is to make selling unnecessary. As defined, marketing is a social and a managerial process by which individuals and organizations obtain what they need and what they want through creating and exchanging value with others. In a narrower business context, marketing involves building profitable, value-laden exchange relationships with customers. To sum it up, marketing is the process by which companies engage customers, build strong customer relationships, and create customer value in order to capture value from customers in return. Now it's your turn, Mia. The marketing process. These are the steps in this model of marketing. First, understand the marketplace and customer needs and wants. Second, design a customer value-driven marketing strategy. Third, construct an integrated marketing program that delivers superior value. Fourth, each customers, build profitable relationships, and create customer delight. The last step, capture value from customers to create profits and customer equity. If you notice, the step focus more on the customer relationship. Now, let's move on to the next one. The customer needs wants and demands first let me define to you what is needs human needs are states of field deprivation example of needs clothing water foods and shelter so these are the things that we should have in order to live next is wants wants are the form human needs take as they are shaped by culture or individual personality. Let me give an example. Me as a young woman, I want to buy an expensive bag to keep up with the trend. So, wishing to have an expensive bag is considered as want. Next is demands. Human wants that are backed by buying power. This is market offerings. Some combination of products, services, information or experiences offered to a market to satisfy a need or want. Last, the marketing myopia. Marketing myopia is the mistake of paying more attention to the specific product a company offers than the benefits experiences produced by this product. Again, this is Mia Guanyo reporting. 
Thank you everyone for listening and understanding. Good evening people. The given topic for me tonight is about customer value and satisfaction and exchanges and relationships. So first, let's define what is customer value. This refers to the quality and the price the consumer paid for in order to acquire the service and the product. On the other hand, the customer satisfaction refers to the extent to which the expectations of the consumer to the product or service are consistent with its actual performance. So, we have this what we call the satisfied customer, by which the customer liked the product and will surely buy again. However, we also have this dissatisfied customer by which the customer didn't like the product and might ruin the reputations of that market and switch to the other. With this, marketers should be careful to set the right level of expectations. Why? Because if the marketers set the expectations too low, they may satisfy the customer but they may not attract many buyers. Meanwhile, if the marketers set the expectations too high, the customers will be disappointed if the product didn't meet their expectations. And that's why we have this, what we call, customer value and satisfaction. Because these are the key building blocks that develop and manage the customer relationship. So let's move on to the exchanges and relationships. Marketers may happen if the people decide to satisfy their needs and wants through exchange relationship. However, we have exchange and it is the act of obtaining a desired object from someone by offering something in return. I think the example for the exchange and relationship will be if you go to a resto and order your favorite meal and eat the food and after that, you will pay the bill by cash. That will be an exchange relationship because you exchange the money for food. Marketing consists of actions taken to create, maintain, and grow desirable exchange relationships with target audiences. Example, companies want to build strong relationships by consistently delivering superior customer value. That's all. Stay tuned for the next discussion by Kajal Rava. Hello, good evening everyone. I will be explaining what market is. As most of us would know, market is where we buy and sell things we need and want. In marketing, in a more formal way of explaining what market really is, it is the set of all actual and potential buyers of a product or service. This means that a market is a place where we, where actual or potential buyers find or buy a product or a service they need or want. For example, you are finding a specific dress and enter different stores to find what you are looking for. Every time you enter a shop, the seller employees already considers you a potential buyer and try their best to assist you and when you found the dress and bought it at a shop, then you will be their actual buyer. While marketing means managing markets to bring about profitable customer relationships, building a profitable customer relationship is better relations and would mean more sales. Customers would, of course, prefer to buy at a company that keeps them satisfaction with the product and services they provide. A modern marketing system is composed of suppliers, company, competitors, marketing intermediaries, and final consumers. Suppliers are businesses who provide a product or service to another entity. For example, a supplier of flower, shirts, or books. A company is a legal entity formed by a group of individuals to engage in and op operate a business enterprise in a commercial or industrial capacity. An example of a company are Apple, LG, and Netflix. Competitors are businesses that offers the same goods and services. An example of this is Adidas and Nike, which offers the same goods. Marketing intermediaries work to promote the product through marketing channels, which builds customer relationships and ultimately increases brand loyalty and awareness.
There are four types of marketing intermediaries. Number one, agents and brokers. Typically perform only a few of the market flows and their main function is to ease buying and selling. That is to bring buyers and sellers together and negotiate between them. Number two, merchant wholesalers and reseller or simply called wholesalers. They buy product from manufacturers, manufacturers in bulk and then resell them. Distributors and functional wholesalers, also called functional wholesalers, they expedite sales between the manufacturer and retailers or other businesses. Number four, traditional and online retailers are those who buy directly from the producer. This is when you buy a product from anyone but not directly to the company that makes it. You are transacting with a retailer. Final consumers are end user of a final product, example a steel company is consuming iron ore to manufacture steel. Thank you. And there we have our first topic cross on the list. It's so amazing that those questions we've said was discussed very well. I know you want to know more and you want to continue the next one. But we had to take a break. Do I or do I not sense a hint of bitterness in that? But you don't have to worry. Not all break is a bad break. This one is gonna be fast and we'll see you right back. Ako na nga nagluto. Ako pa nagpugas ng pinggan. Buti na lang, may kakaloka. Pag ininom mo to, mawawala ang stress at pagod. Ano pang iniintay mo? Bumili na ng kakaloka. Maloloka na sa sarap.